Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a Korean horror film, Strange Mansion. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Jik Woo is a young woodtoon creator who goes to document an old building. Surely, in its old age, a lot of things happened in the building, making it a home of different stories. So this attracts a creator like Jik Woo, who looks for bizarre stories for inspiration. He goes there to interview someone who knows the strange stories that allegedly happened in the building. Upon his arrival in the room, there is an eerie atmosphere as he goes inside. He introduces himself to an old man. The old man just intently looks at him, and barely speaks unless it is necessary. Then he starts the recorder as he is going to interview the old man. The old man introduces himself as the caretaker of the building. The old man proceeds to ask him why he comes to the building. He replies that he comes to confirm the strange stories that happened in the building. The old man then proceeds to tell them a story. It is about the case of the burned orphanage. There, the children are left dying in a fire by the elderlies, who just immediately escape to save themselves. After that, rumors spread about the strange children's noises. An author, who used to live in the building, was one of those who heard the strange noise. It's said that the author heard the strange noise right just when he moved into the room at the building. He intently listened to the sound of children happily playing that came from the room downstairs. Later at night, he had a strange experience again. He took a break and closed his laptop. Then he observed that there was something from below, causing the floor to shake. Shortly after, he seemed confused as he noticed the laptop was open. The following day, he went to the pharmacy to buy a headache medicine. When he got his medicine, he went back home. He set his laptop on the table and went to get something from the cabinet. But when he went back, the laptop was gone and a child laughed from somewhere. He then looked at where it was coming from. As he stopped, a door behind opened up by itself. He noticed it. The door seemed to be leading him inside the room. There, he saw a shoe of a child. Suddenly, a child fell behind him together with his laptop and immediately ran away. But as he looked outside, there was no one. So he went to the caretaker to check the footage and also found nothing. In frustration, he rushed towards the room downstairs to confront the noisy children. There, he found more old children's shoes. This made him think there was someone inside. So he kept banging at the door even though no one responded. After that, he placed the children's shoes in the plastic bag and threw them away. Later, as he fell asleep, he heard a clicking noise outside. In response, he went out and slowly checked every room outside. Surprisingly, he found the plastic bag with children's shoes he threw out earlier. While he nervously checked it, a child ran in front of him. Then, as he peeked outside through a door eye hole, he saw three children pointing at the other door. Instantly, a creepy child appeared right in front of the eye hole that surprised him and made him fall to the floor. There, he found himself surrounded by the children's shoes. And when he looked at the ceiling, he saw something that made him stop in fear. Apparently, the children with their burned faces appeared hanging. Back at present, Jikwu shares with the old man the information he found about the author. He figured out that the author went missing without a trace. The old man disregards the information and proceeds to tell him another story. The story is about a beautiful woman who met the wrong guy for her. In the past, a beautiful woman was working as a pharmacist. Apparently, she had an affair with a married man. Her strange experience started in her work when she saw her co-worker already in the pharmacy. And when she answered the call of her boyfriend, the co-worker in different clothes suddenly entered the pharmacy again. This confused her since she saw earlier that the co-worker was already inside. Later at her home, her boyfriend came. He appeared to be soaking wet, as if something bad had happened to him. There, the boyfriend informed her that his wife already knew about their affair. Still, she is happy about the news, as she suggested to him to just break up with his wife and be with her instead. In response, he told her to let him stay there for a while and not inform anyone about his whereabouts. She hugged her and told him to stay forever. It appeared that she was crazy in love with him. The following day, at her work, the police asked her about the whereabouts of her boyfriend. As it turns out, the boyfriend killed his own family. This made her immediately rush to her home to find her boyfriend. There, she found her boyfriend in the shower while his bloody clothes caught her attention. Immediately, she hid the clothes and informed her boyfriend that the police had come to find him. She prepared the baggage and suggested to her boyfriend to go as far away as possible, but he just repeatedly told her not to inform anyone that he was in the shower. This pissed her off, so she shouted at him to hurry up. At that moment, she realized that there was something weird going on with him in the shower. As she checked it, he appeared to be dancing around. He then looked at her and told her again not to inform anyone that he was in the shower. Then someone is calling her from outside. Apparently, it is her boyfriend. This confused her, since there was someone in the shower which appeared to be him. But the boyfriend outside called her which made her think that the one in the shower was the fake one. 
so she informed her boyfriend about the person in the shower. Her boyfriend got a hammer as he slowly walked at the man in the shower. Surprisingly, he looked back at her together with the man in the shower. He asked her why she informed someone that he was in the shower, even though he told her not to. As she trembled in fear, the room was instantly filled with blood, while the boyfriend was bloody, holding the corpse who seemed to be his wife. In the end, someone appeared behind her while her boyfriend smiled at her. Back to the present, Jik Wu goes to interview a salesman living in the building about a creepy incident that happened to him. The salesman appears to be completely terrified, as if something traumatic happened to him. As it appears, the salesman is exactly the one who sold the unit to the author. According to the salesman, as he went home after work someday, he had dinner with his peculiar wife. His wife was a big-faced mannequin. He casually told her about his day at work. Then the mannequin's neck suddenly broke. So he tried to fix it right away out of his love for it. That night, in his sleep, a weird sound from the sink awakened him. As he checked it, the drain seemed to be clogged. So the following day, he hired a plumber to check the sink. The plumber found a ball of woman's hair clogging the drain. This baffled the salesman, since he did not exactly know where the hair would come from. The plumber suggested that it possibly came from the former occupant. Later, he contacted the former occupant of the unit and his office and made her pay the plumbing cost. However, only the sound of water splashing came from the phone. After that, at his home, he called the repairman to fix the mannequin properly. He gladly told the repairman that it was valuable to him, so the repairman needed to take care of it. Then, he caressed the plastic hands of the mannequin, which is sealed in plastic. Suddenly, the sink released blood-colored water, which called his attention. As he went to look at it, the mannequin behind him instantly disappeared. This made him feel that something strange was happening. He saw a decaying hand holding the faucet, which shocked him. At his feet, he found the bracelet he gave to the mannequin. The day after, at his work, his employee told him the rumors about the history of the building. As it turns out, there was a schoolgirl who died in the building, alongside many more who disappeared there. Another strange thing about the building is that it is built by a cult, and they made it a place of worship. At his home, another strange thing happened again in the sink. As he looked at it, the mannequin looked at it as well. There, a face covered with plastic appeared. So he intently recorded it with his phone while he was nervously shaking. Suddenly, the mannequin fell, which made him look back. When he was about to look at the sink again, the mannequin was promptly in front of him. In a panic, he immediately hid in the room and locked the door. There, lights turned off, which made him unable to see anything. As he lit up the room, he found himself stepping on the plastic that covered the mannequin. Slowly, the mannequin emerged behind him with its creepy smile. Back to reality, Jik Wu continues to interview the salesman. The salesman believes that the cult cursed him, which is why strange events happened to him. Shortly after, the salesman acts like he is losing his mind. The strange events possibly made him crazy. At the same time, it is also possible that his craziness lets him create strange stories. So this makes us think that his story might not be real at all. In the next scene, Jik Wu looks at his empty title page of the webtoon. But it is about to have content as he starts to work on the gathered creepy stories from the building. So later on, when he meets his client, he is able to show his completed work. The client seems to be satisfied with his work. But there is one problem, the webtoon he created is too short to be published. So the client tells him to make it longer, and he will pay him. It seems that there is hesitation on his face, as this will force him to go back to the creepy building. He has no choice but to go back, hoping that all of his hard work will come to success. After that, he immediately heads to the building to ask the caretaker to tell him more stories. In desperation, he even offers the caretaker money for another story. The caretaker just laughs at him, but it still proceeds to tell him another story. The fourth story is about a young student who failed at school abroad, so he came home. He didn't know where to go. In desperation, he stayed at his childhood friend's house. His friend happily welcomed him. However, he is grossed out by the situation of his friend. The house was so dirty, and his friend seemed to have a disease. And when they ate together, he noticed that all of the food was already spoiled. But for his friend, it seemed normal, and he continued munching the spoiled food. The following day, as his friend left, he checked the fridge for food to eat. There, he saw more filthy spoiled food. Then, he noticed the mold growing in every part of the house. So he decided to clean up the house, and even the seemingly private room with the family photo of his friend. Later that day, his friend went home and saw the house already cleaned. This did not make his friend happy. His friend rushed towards the room which had the family photo. There, his friend was angry at him, as he treated the mold as his parents. His friend cried like a little child. After that, he contacted his other friend to let him stay there. But when he was about to leave, his call with his other friend was interrupted by something weird. 
Then he noticed that the molds in the house grew again. When he checked the private room, there was also mold surrounding the family picture. Then, his friend arrived at the house with its disease severely worsening. He was completely horrified as he saw the face of his friend. As he walked backward in fear, the hands from the photo grabbed him. In the end, he desperately screamed for help while his friend closed the door. Back at present, Jik Wu is asking the caretaker further questions about the strange stories that allegedly happened in the building. He is curious why strange things keep happening there. The caretaker then instructs him to go to a particular room in the building, so he can personally see the reason for the occurrences of these strange stories. Meanwhile, in a studio, his cute friend accidentally listens to his recordings of the interviews earlier. The interview seemingly concerns his friend. Later on, he heads towards the room. At the elevator, he encounters a creepy man. This makes him try to leave the elevator immediately. He keeps pressing the button of the elevator, but it does not work. Fortunately, the elevator door opens, and he leaves the creepy man smiling in an ugly way. As he feels relief, the creepy man runs towards him out of nowhere. So he runs as fast as he can and hides in a locker, while the creepy man keeps searching for him. Later, he arrives at the room. There, he finds a tape recording. Out of curiosity, he listens to the recording. Apparently, it contains the story of the caretaker when he first arrived at the building. It appears that the caretaker first went there to steal the large amount of money kept by the cult in that room. He is together with a delivery guy who appears to be the creepy man chasing Jik Wu earlier. The delivery guy was a scaredy cat who trembled in fear at every move, but the caretaker was unfazed by anything. The caretaker is decisive enough to accomplish what he came for in the building. In the room, he found the decaying corpse of the cult leader. There, he casually took the key from the cult leader's mouth. Then, he used the key to open an eerie cabinet. When he opened it, only darkness was revealed to him. But the moment he put his hand inside, he was able to grab money from it. This made him feel excited, as he thought that he was already rich. However, he suddenly disappeared in front of the delivery guy. Then the delivery guy saw the decaying feet of the cult leader walking. So he immediately rushed to the car to get out of there while he brought the money with him. But the car failed to start. The caretaker suddenly came back and appeared different. Apparently, it is not the caretaker anymore, but the cult leader who took the form of the caretaker. In the end, the cult leader revealed itself to the delivery guy, which horrified him a lot. Back at present, Jik Wu is in the front of the cabinet, where the caretaker exactly got the money. He intently looks at it, when the cult leader instantly appears behind him. This greatly surprises him, making him fall back inside the cabinet, while this tape recorder falls to the floor. Then the cabinet's door instantly closes. Shortly after, the cult leader in the caretaker's form arrives, smiling at him. In the end, the cult leader takes Jik Wu's form and leaves him alone trapped in the cabinet. The movie ends where Jik Wu's cute friend arrives at the building to find him. However, as she sees him, she instantly notices the difference. In the end, she slowly walks back out of fear, as the cult leader reveals its creepy form again. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.